When I first saw the back of Gorilla's new album, Song Machine, I thought that uh, 2D was flipping the bird there. And it's actually just his pointer finger, so it's not his middle one. But I thought to myself, you know, if that's not a big fucking mood for the entirety of 2020, I don't know what is. Needless to say, this year's been kind of shit for the most part. One good thing that I always find myself when I have times of trouble is the new Gorillaz album that came out. Now this is called Song Machine Season 1, which is, implies that there are going to be more volumes of Song Machine in the future. Now the last album that came out before this was The Now Now, that came out a few years ago. I thought it was a very solid album. Uh, I really like all of the songs that are sung by the lead singer 2D, or Damon Albarn, which is the actual artist, except for a few cameos and collaborations and all like that. But Gorillaz kind of goes back to the original form that I feel was so prevalent in Demon Days and what made Demon Days and Plastic Beach so successful was the collaboration with a lot of artists. Now this time around, uh, I actually know a lot of the artists going into beforehand. We have Robert Smith from The Cure, Elton John, Beck. This album has Beck. So how is Song Machine overall? It's a really good album. And I've been thinking about doing a ranking of how I would rank the Gorillaz albums that have come out so far. And it's hard to say where this fits. To me personally, Demon Days is still the best album. That's still the one that has the most personal significance to me, so I, I kind of hold it in a super high regard. But I feel like Song Machine is definitely up in the better end of the Gorillaz albums. It feels a bit different than other albums that have come out before. Normally, I feel that albums usually have like a theme or like a, a story that goes from point A to point B. And I feel like Song Machine doesn't really have that. It feels kind of like a greatest hits album more than like its own thing, which is completely fine. Um, I don't always go for structure when I listen to music. And this is an album that I certainly do like to listen to all the way through before, like I don't like to just skip around from song to song. There, there are a good number of songs that are good in their own right. I've spoken previously that there are the Gorillaz music videos that have come out, and a lot of those songs are actually still my favorites even after listening to the album, but there are still a few really good gems in it that are not in the music videos. I think uh, Chalk Tablet Towers is really, really good. It kind of has the same beat as uh, Material Girl, and I almost want to start singing Material Girl when I listen to it, which is kind of weird, but I still enjoy it nonetheless. Um, I really like Dead Butterflies. That's a really good one. I do also like The Lost Chord, that's another good one. Uh, I like Severed Head, that's also a good one. I feel like, like with, with most albums, at least from the way I listen to them, they, the, the tracks usually tend to get a little bit less as good when we get towards the end. If there's been a song that I haven't liked on Song Machine, it's a lot better the second and third and fourth time I listen to it, to where songs that I didn't like previously I really start to enjoy. Uh, I had spoken previously how I, don't, I didn't like Momentary Bliss, and after enjoying it with the rest of the album and listening to it again and again, I actually find that I enjoy it a lot more than I originally did. It has more of a punk rock sound to it, which is what Gorilla started with with the first self-titled album. It, it's not really hip-hop, it's not rock and roll, it's not punk rock, it's a weird amalgamation of everything, which I think is what makes it so successful. And it kind of has this large range of songs you could listen to, and I think anyone from all walks of life can enjoy it as is it, at least for one song. As a Gorillaz fan, I've always kind of had a hard time getting my friends who are not into Gorillaz into them, and it's very difficult, I find, to tell people where to start. I don't think starting with the first album is, is, is the best way to go. I think that showing someone Song Machine to get them into Gorillaz might actually be a pretty good way, like a really good gateway, because you can start to slowly get them into the more gorilla sounding, like when we get to Plastic Beach and Demon Days. One more thing that I will mention is that I've technically bought this album three times. I had bought it once when I had purchased my Gorillaz Almanac, which still hasn't come in the mail, so that's fun. I ended up breaking and getting a digital copy so I can enjoy it while I waited for the album, which of course came the next day. And I have a special collector's item here, now, you all know that 2D is my favorite character, so I got the 2D Song Machine mixtape. I think this is so cute. Uh, I love it. I, I really should have got the other ones, but I didn't think to at the time. If they ever go on sale again, I might. Um, but there was one for each character. Each tape is a completely separate uh, list made by each individual. And I like it because it's pink and it has the songs that I like. And my favorite part is right here on the back. It says, I hope you like it. And I thought that was cute. And I do like it. I enjoy it very much. I actually do have a cassette player, and I like to enjoy listening to it. But the cassette doesn't have the full album, and I actually, after looking at the physical copy, which I haven't even opened, it actually says, I actually don't show the other songs. This one only has 11, so it goes up to Momentary Bliss. 
which is a little bit odd. I, I would have expected to have the whole thing. Unless I'm reading it wrong, it's like on the back or there's a second side. If I had to recommend a way to get it, I'd probably go with digital, only because the two physical copies I have don't have the full album, and there are a good number of really good songs that aren't present on these smaller condensed playlists. I very much enjoy Song Machine. I recommend it to everyone, especially Gorillaz fans, and I think this would be a really good gateway to other people to get into Gorillaz like the rest of us. And so with that, we have another Gorillaz video here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in the next one.